I have my handheld mixer those are the blades that's my box milk my baking soda my all-purpose flour that's the container that I'll be mixing my ingredients in my eggs my butter or better yet I should say margarine that's a granulated sugar salt lemon zest and last but not least my lemon juice so there you have it guys those are my ingredients that I'll be using to make a lemon cake these are my measuring equipments that I'll be using to measure my ingredients so that I put the right portions in my butter so guys for my lemon cake I needed buttermilk but unfortunately I went to the supermarket and I never got any so I'll be doing a substitute which I'll be mixing milk box milk and lemon juice for the substitute of the buttermilk so guys I'll be melting my butter well it was supposed to be butter but it's margarine but I'll be referring to it as butter and bad idea to melt your butter once you're baking a cake and further on in this video you guys will see why I say it's bad idea to actually melt your butter I'll be using two and a half cups of sugar Two and three quarter cups of flour add in the melted butter which is one cup So I'm beating all six eggs. One teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of lemon zest. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda okay. 
six beaten eggs. I'm now adding half cup of the buttermilk substitution and guys you can also use sour cream but I never had any so I did the substitution instead. So now that all my ingredients are in the bowl, what I'm doing right now is setting up my mixer to combine all ingredients, sort of blend them together. The mixer in which I'm using comes with three levels and starting out I'm using the lowest level which is level one to ensure that I don't create a mess and at the same time combining the ingredients and as I go along I will go to the higher levels to ensure that I mix out all of the ingredients properly. So I'm using the spoon to remove any of the ingredients that may attach to the bottom of the bowl and to ensure that I mix out all of the ingredients evenly. This is the pan that I'll be using and since I won't be using any parchment paper, I'll be greasing my pan. Preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So guys, if you can remember early on in the video, where I said it was ba a bad idea to actually melt the butter. It was bad because my butter is too liquidy. I wanted my butter to be a bit more fluffier so that my cake could be fluffier. But unfortunately because of the substitution for the buttermilk was liquid and my butter was melted, I never got that thick butter that I was really hoping for so let's watch and see how the cake will turn out and hopefully I get the texture that I really want So guys, you can set your timer off from 35 minutes to 40 minutes, but since my butter was so liquidy, I'll be setting my timer at 40 minutes. So I'll be using a kebab stick to test and see if it's baked properly. So now that it's finished baking, I'll be taking it out of the container and putting it under a mesh to have it cooled and in the meantime I am going to make a glaze and I'll be making the glaze from scratch guys so just stay tuned and watch a girl I am not a pastry chef but yes I am going to make 
my glaze from scratch so for my glaze I'll be using a quarter cup of water three and a half tablespoon of cornstarch or you can use flour if you wish So here I am pretty much combining the water and the cornstarch together. So that's cold water and cornstarch. So half cup of water in another container. half cup of sugar two teaspoon of lemon zest And a quarter cup of lemon juice. So I'll be mixing those ingredients together. So these are my two combination of mixtures. So I'll be eating the lemon juice, the lemon zest and sugar mixture. Then slowly add your cornstarch mixture and stir while you're adding it. Unfortunately guys I lost that footage so this is the end result of the mixture so there you have it that's my glaze so since my cake is already cooled I'm just gonna go ahead and add the glaze to it I'm just using a knife to spread the glaze evenly on top of the cake.
for this look I sprinkled some leftover zest on my cake and of course you don't know from a Rista bake the cake, Rista in the kitchen, she often turn up the presentation. So it's a lemon cake, and it's only right that I, you know, decorate it with some slices of lemon. So, guys, you've come to the end of this video. And there was some major takeaways for me one don't use margarine use butter don't melt your ingredients which is the butter mix it out so that you get that fluffy texture and the substitution is a no-no since it would let your butter be liquidy and then you would end up with a pudding texture and not a fluffy cake texture however I must say that this lemon pudding tastes amazing and I'll be doing it over the right and proper way so guys just stay tuned because that video will be coming soon Screen.